Hello, welcome back to the Tribulation Institute. My name is Jeff Forster, and I am your host today. Glad you could be with us on this, uh, at least where I'm at, in the San Luis Valley. It's 80 mile an hour winds and uh, snow flurries. And I'm inside in the sunroom where it's a little bright, still dark inside. Anyway, glad you could be with me. You know, it seems as if all eyes are on the April 8th solar eclipse. And I believe we all know that the government, those people who make up our government, uh, they also control the media. And we know that nothing gets on the media unless they want us to see it. So why are they making a big deal about this coming solar eclipse come across America, you know, uh, for the third time since 2017, making the Av and the Tav beginning, the, uh, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh, then it's got three X's uh, across three earthquake zones. So should we make anything of it? Well, there's a lot of naysayers, but I believe yes. You might be asking the question, well, what do you think is going to happen on that day? Well, I don't know. So my research and my studying tells me that maybe nothing physically meaning in the earth as far as the earthquakes and volcanoes and those type of geographic catastrophic events which will happen but I believe they won't take place on that day that it's a warning and we have 40 days people in the country the rules of the country and the people have 40 days in which to repent of their sins of worshiping other gods um, not coming out of Babylon which means all the activities of Babylon all their false celebration of pagan holidays their feast and we're going to see in Amos it talks in the book of Amos it talks directly to that and I'm going to get into those dates uh, later in uh, which could be you know possibly in May and um, July 4th would be a day we need to take a look at for sure Anyway, on that day, I don't think anything of that nature, but I do believe that, and I posted a small short on this topic as well, is the possibility of some people hallucinating because of the cicadas, and there's a link that I give to the YouTube site, Enter the Stars, you need to see that, and I also tell you, I think it's at the 2 minute and 15 second mark. But it could be 22 minutes and 15. I'll get back with you on that. That either it will be an hallucination or Project Blue Beam, which is the light show in the skies uh, that have to do with holograms that are projected. I mean, it seems like uh, in the sky, it seems like a great time, you know, since, uh, you know, he's letting the kids out of school. It's, uh, it's almost a dang holiday. And they beeped it up and beefed it up and they've allowed every cockamamie or every uh, side of the issue to be put out there. Why? Well, I think it would be an opportune time since everybody's looking to make a, a big deal out of it, that it would be a good time for Project Blue Beam or Hallucination or both. Project Blue Beam could be, uh, is what those, everybody sees, but then the hallucinations, only a certain segment of the people believe in those could be um, that it has something to do with the cicadas and how it affects uh, the eyes uh, into hallucinating. If you 
enjoy this topic and want to hear more, then come back for part two. Try to keep these as short as possible but we'll get a good deal of information out. But anyway, glad you could join us. Please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like and be sure to share and hit the notifications bell and the all bell so that we keep receive the notifications. I love you and may Yahweh Elohim richly bless you as you continue to come out of Babylon and come into the kingdom of light to his kingdom. And as you learn more about the gospel of the kingdom that must be preached and is being preached. Anyway, I love you. Hope to see you next time.